Penny's Pet Peeves, art by Andy J. Smith. Hi, I'm Penny, and as you might guess, I love dinosaurs. What I don't love are the goofy ideas some people have about us. Now, I know that scientists haven't figured out all our secrets, and I'm not giving any away, but they have learned these. Not all dinosaurs were big. Sure, Diplodocus, Barasaurus, and their long-necked buddies stretched farther than two or even three school buses. But dinosaurs came in all sizes. Compsognathus was not much bigger than a chicken. We didn't all live in toasty swamps and jungles. Timamus, who was about as tall as a man, and the little Lee Elanacera lived near what is now the South Pole. Winters there were long, dark, and cold. Dinosaurs ruled the world for more than 150 million years, but we didn't all live at the same time. If you see a picture of Tyrannosaurus fighting Stegosaurus or Apatosaurus, yell, wrong! The last Stegosaurus and Apatosaurus had already died around 80 million years before T-Rex came along. Not every big extinct animal was a dinosaur. If it flew, it was probably a pterosaur, not a dinosaur. If it lived in the ocean, it might have been a plesiosaur, but not a dinosaur. And if it had fur, it was definitely not a dinosaur. Big hairy animals like woolly mammoths and saber-toothed tigers lived long after the age of the dinosaurs. What other hairy animals never saw a real live dinosaur? People! unless you count birds as dinos, but I'll save that for another story.